Hello, everybody. It is Badger Wild, and we are back with another Space Engineers tutorial video. Or, right, well, not really a tutorial video. We basically are going to have a sort of a thought process video showing y'all my thought process for building the drone that y'all saw Friday. That was amazing, and y'all really enjoyed. So I thought I'd go through the thought process and uh, show you guys how this works and how I usually design something and tweak the design, work the design, enable myself to go back and forth. Anyway, if y'all could and you're new to the channel, please do hit the subscribe button. And if you enjoy the video, be sure to like. And if you want to talk, leave a comment. Love to hear from you guys. Um, <clears throat> I try to read every single comment that I can get, even if they get a little overwhelming at times. <laughs> but uh, I, I enjoy y'all's comments and everything else. So please do, do, do leave a comment. Subscribe if you're new. Helps the channel out. We're heading off to 1500 subscribers that's the new goal for the channel and uh we're at almost at 200 uh, 1200 right now so we're we're getting close we're getting there we're almost we're almost there by the way without further ado let's get started so what you're seeing here are a set of vehicles for the retaliator now for those of you wondering what the retaliator was the retaliator was designed to specifically engage the concept of a railgun drone Mostly it was tactics, but I, I would say probably 90% of the drone is tactics. The other 20%, the, the meat, the, 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 the cream in the sauce, you know, the, the just magnifique, the nice part of it, was the design of the vehicle. And designing a good drone or ship or anything works out. So starting in on this, uh, originally I started out with this concept, and this was my idea going forward. I call this the X01. And the XL1 uses two main guns for forward that are fixed with a camera. And then we also have these hinge guns on the side that you've seen me use. Now, problem that happened is if your ship is moving on the same plane as the hinge point on the gun, the gun has a harder time hitting the target. If you are moving perpendicular to it, it has an easier time because it just pulls in on where that target is and then as you're firing those guns are just all hitting at once so yes this works but there there are two like i said there, there's a problem with it there's actually two uh one the drones like to move sideways a lot but also something happens when you put a a turret of any kind on a drone it suddenly wants to go wee and goes way up in the air and it doesn't want to just stay on the same plane or try to move and fight it will chase off up in the air and then hit a point where it was so high up there it couldn't get an angle it just couldn't get an angle i mean i'd have to put it at a 90 degree angle and that would threaten the topness of it i would have to put more thrusters on here to give it an upward thrust and that's just that's not going to happen otherwise we've got about four guns and that's what i was wanting to use was at the very least four and it didn't work out. Another thing was, eventually I cut the guns off and just used these to see how well it could hit. And that did fix the Wii problem. But then I saw another problem, which was uh, the guns were hitting kind of low. And I don't know why this happened. If the for some reason the turret controller was, or the, the drone controller decided to use the camera or whatnot... But the solution to it ends up over here. You can see this thing uses about six upward thrusters and still cannot get its heavy butt off the ground. Uh, it, it was constantly falling. This was this was probably idea one. This is where we started at. And a lot of problems were seen in the design. This is what you should always do. This is why you should have, like, if you look at my... If you were to look into my... Let me pull up here. Uh, just in the X series of stuff. You can see I did about four of them. I've also got several other designs that I work on while I'm working. And I do this because this is what you do when you prototype things. If you prototype something from one stage, you know, you start up with an idea, you experiment with it. If it works, you see problems and then you fix them. So new problems. Also, I wanted this thing to have a large connector so it could connect to a base and be launched like a ship and all this other nonsense. So now we get to this one. This is the X02. And the X02 has a couple of things going with it. Instead of having the hinge and trying to make a flat one, we go for more of a box, like a rectangular drone kind of look. We've got a good amount of engine 
lots of real estate in here to add stuff. And on top of that, we've got three of our main blocks here needed for testing. They're just a combat block, a, um, <clears throat> let me think here. I got a combat block, a movement block, and our AI block that we absolutely need. So we got all that. Remote controlled, um, did not, well, yeah, it does. It has a antenna so I can re take remote control of this thing and shut everything down and make it stop or send it where I need it to go. This time I put about six Gatlin guns on it and kind of a cluster here. And yeah, I have these piped up so that the piping will run through to them because I want this to be functional to an extent and put a wall camera, or as I like to call this, a face camera onto the front here so that it would give these things plenty of area to to use and maneuver. And this was actually far more effective. And at first I believed it was because of the six Gatlin guns. And this is kind of where my camera theory came into play that the top, that the drone, if it has a camera, will use that camera to target with because the moment I came in and I just took the top and bottom two guns off, this thing was still killing targets quite efficiently, far more efficiently than this thing was. I actually had both of them out there fighting the same drone. And this one was doing better than this one was with two on just the two guns point. So this one with two guns and this one with two guns, this one was doing a lot better. So I realized something's got to be going on with this camera placement. The drone probably detects the camera and uses it as a central access point. So when you're building a drone, guys, when you're building a drone, camera placement uh, is apparently very necessary. By the way, this one here, you can tell it actually stays off the ground. It only needs about four thrusters pushing itself off the ground. Two thrusters for movement and a single thruster on each side for side to side movement. It, it operates quite efficiently. Um, we have about six power generators on this thing. We've got six reactors about... Let me see here. 10 batteries. So it, it holds its own very well. And it's it's electrically, it's stable. It doesn't override itself too much. But after that, I decided, okay, let's take this design. Let's go a little bit further with it. <clears throat> and built a sort of a cross shape gun port system. And this, this was wildly more effective uh, than even that with six guns. Uh, this can probably take stuff down almost as efficiently as the six guns there. Uh, you see here we added up the armor, and I, I boosted the armor up on it, added some areas, left this section back here open on both sides, and just added a nice little door right there, so you can open up and work on that if you have to. And uh, this has enough for six more blocks, so if y'all want to put six more AI functions on this thing, you can. It'll easily take it. And uh, just use some of the armor blocks and stuff like that to make it work. And this, like I said, this is wildly effective. It could kill railgun drones pretty good as the X-03. And it was very effective. But then I got thinking we can take this one step further. Let's try one more experiment. Reduce some uh, weight with some of these panels on the side. And just added this. Now, this is significantly different than uh, the other one because one, we're still maintaining our power. And yes, we have a we have a cannon upgrade. But in the back here, I managed to get two more thrusters on this thing, so it can boost really good. It can run right up to the target. So this this uh, the XO2 is actually much faster than the XO3 on a straight run, charging towards the target. It is much faster. It can. Once it turns around, it has enough thrust to stop itself and then push itself into the target again. It can get, it's quite maneuverable using that. Still the same thing, four thrusters on both of these. They work pretty well. The forward section of both of these also have upgraded heavy armor and uh, did this for other drones because I wanted, because I realized this is actually really good. It could work against other drones as well. And I just added up some heavy armor on the front here and in some certain panels. It can take a hit from another unit. It may lose a gun, but it will keep fighting. But also here we have the quad cannons. And this is where a nifty little situation happened. Where the XO, XO4, its main gun... actually don't fire in a volley. They actually fire 
in a, in a multi-fashion, as you can see here. It fires more like a auto turret than anything else. So instead of uh, firing just constant stream, this fires like a stream. It's pretty good. This here fires at a pretty decent fire rate without having to have timer blocks. And that's the amazing part of this. It actually got timer blocks. Uh, it doesn't have the timer block issue. So it seems that if you stagger your guns around the ship, I don't know. I would probably need to build some sort of asymmetrical fighter to take full advantage of this. But it appears that if you stagger your guns around the ship, they'll fire at different intervals. I don't know why this is. I could not tell you. <laughs> I don't know. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, that's that's what happens. So, anyway, um, how do these ships work? Well, you've got a point back here where you can kind of lock in here. Let me pull out the, the block. You can actually just place a block back there on this. This is up on the workshop right now if you want to use it. And then connect it to whatever little deal you have for... Uh, picking it up they are easily printable there are no moving parts there are no hinges i wanted these to be as cheap as possible and as it turns out it went from a semi-complex thing to uh keep it simple stupid and uh, it's pretty simple in the way it's designed it's customizable uh, if you want this thing to do patrol runs until it starts to run out of power and then give it the ability to come back you can do that you can have it with the ability to take off and engage you can change up how it operates. You can change up its defensive capabilities. If it loses a gun or something like that, it turns around. If it runs out of ammo, it can run back to base and rearm. Uh, all this stuff can be done. It's it's highly customizable the way I've done this thing. So you can do this. It's like some of the stuff I build. I try to make it to where you guys can put a personal touch on it. So this thing comes in as a personal touch. It doesn't have any paint on it. So you guys can paint this thing whatever you want. Copy it up. Use the use the plan. I don't care. Uh, I just hope you guys having fun with it and enjoy it. Anyway, that is the build process of the what did I call this thing? The Retaliator M4 drone, and it works. Like I said, it works very well. It does uh, it does its job like it's supposed to, and it's customizable. I think I think you can use this. Can you use this on bigger ships and stuff? Eh, you might be able to do that. I plan on building a drone that uh, will harass a ship, something larger with maybe rockets or cannons or something like that. Uh, and it'll have a whole different weapon loadout than this. There will be a whole different way of doing it. Uh, but anyway, as I said, uh, this thing is up on the workshop right now. I'll put another link to it in the description. I have a link in the original video. But I'll put a link to it in the description. The other ones, and I'm, I'm not going to put them up because they're not really worth it. I may take the X03 and throw it up there, but it really is just to change out the guns. That's all you have to do. And the X03 has less engines, so it's it's partially the way going. The M4 is basically the M4 is basically the final product, and it works good as an interceptor. It also would be a mean ship for fighters if you were to try and fight this thing because of the zipping effect this thing has of going in and targeting you. Uh, can it be used in... Um, probably another question I'm going to get. Can it be used in... Space? Yeah, it probably can. Um, you're, you're basically got the same type of engine systems. I don't know. You may have to add a reactor or two. But you just swap the engines out on this thing for ion... You're golden and, and it probably would become a little more compact if you did that you will have to put maybe a upward thrust on this thing to make it stop because it'll probably just it'll probably flip and it won't flip and move like it should to maintain itself my way that is the retaliator drone folks and i hope you guys enjoyed the video be sure to add again like comment and subscribe we're trying to get to 1500 subscribers on the channel so I can get it up there. I don't know what I'm going to do at 1500. Uh, there is a game I've been playing besides Space Engineers. Uh, I may do a live stream of that with a couple friends of mine. We may just raid somebody's server. If I can find a server with a decent ping. Playing Silica. I'm probably going to do a review on Silica uh, this Friday. <clears throat> coming up. <sighs> so anyway. Like I said. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, this is Badger Wild saying stay safe, stay frosty. 
I'll see you guys next time, and I am signing out.